click. Wait. Oh, I gotta hold it a little bit. Oh, scan, wait. Done. 8,983 songs. <laughs> Gustav Holt. Um, so this was sent to me by Lin Sol, and I don't know how useful it is for most people. It's gonna be hyper useful for me because I need music to play places and I don't wanna waste a computer on it. And this is essentially, how do I put this? It's a terribly interfaced digital audio player. It's like a DAP. It's like, you know, you, you, M11 is a DAP. You take that around with you. Only you need to plug this one into the wall and it gives you most of the digital outputs. So there you go, done, are we happy? Essentially for $300, which is what this costs, this is just a dedicated audio player. It has an SD card slot, not a micro SD card slot, a full fuck SD card slot in the front. And I actually bought the biggest SD card that was coming from a reliable company, which is 256. And I'm like, what, what? I did the Italian hands at Amazon. Like, where are the two terabyte giant SD cards? Because here, hold on, I'll shut this off again. You would think with the size like this, you can get a two terabyte for like, you know, $55. But they don't even make bigger than 256 unless you go to a company that no one ever heard of that you know they ain't doing the legit things with it. And I wanted to use a full size SD because the little micro SD adapters are great. But if it takes an SD, I'm gonna give it an SD. So I bought this SanDisk Ultra 256, which I'll link in the description. You slide it down in there and you flip the power on the back and then you could use the remote control because it does have a remote control to turn it on and it scans whatever SD card and it just, it's the same speed no matter what. It's just, you know, four and a half seconds. All right, I get it, I get it, Gustav Holt. Change his tune. There we go. Uh, I allowed micros. We've got lots of things on the desk. And this desk was empty. And then I'm like, oh, you know what I should review? This, because I've been using this and I know all its quirks and features. Quirks and features, Doc, Doc Demuro. I'm not Doc Demuro. I don't have license plates on my wall. I got anime fucking things. So it's a completely different human being. Although we both lived in Pennsylvania for a while. This on player is the X5S, 32-bit DSD player. And I, I, I see it having a place in someone's home, in someone's heart, next to your bed, in your living room. If you're not a, a psycho like me and have a computer on every television, if you're just in your living room, you're like, you know what? I, I wanna turn my TV on to get to like the, the, uh, Spotify and have it stream music. I just want good music where I'm, where I be. This would be the answer. You buy this, you fill an SD card or the back of the unit, which I hope I have enough space. There's a USB plug for plugging in a USB stick, a, a thumb drive. You could pop a USB thumb drive in there. I actually don't have any thumb drives filled with music. It's very sad, about six, seven years too late own, but thumb drive filled with music. You've got your Wi-Fi, uh, not Wi-Fi antenna, I wish to Christ. We're going to get to it. This is a Bluetooth antenna. And then you see there's a whole fuckload of everything else plugged into it. So what I've been testing with it, or what I've been doing with it, is this has been my burn-in unit. So I got my burn-in rig over there that's running off a little heavy player that just powered and just cycles. But then I need the burn-in speakers. Like I have the powered monitors and I have, you know, you know the swans. And I'm like, well, what do I do? Leave my computer running, having it drag files across my network 24 hours a day just to read the things. Like, no, that's dumb. So either I got to get another portable player or this. And the reason why this is better than most portable players for that task is it outputs RCA with volume control or not, fiber optic, coaxial digital, AES, which is the only reason the big own is here. Did you turn off? Yeah, you did. The big AES, it does AES, and then it has Bluetooth receiving. So, oh no, it'll Bluetooth send out. I don't think it'll receive Bluetooth. No, that makes, yeah, that shouldn't receive, will receive Bluetooth? Huh. 
have to read the specs again. Point is, what this unit does is remove the need to have a computer or the internet where you want to hear music. If I had a stack of these, if I had five of them, and I actually have two of them, but if I had five of them, I could put one out on my fucking veranda. I have a veranda. It's weird. And it could just be like, I'm going to go listen to music on the veranda. I don't want to tune into Spotify. I don't want to tell Alexa what to play. I would just have an SD card or a USB stick that I pop in the back of it, and it play. Is this... And then Beastie Boys Girls plays, and it's super fucking high quality. The point of this unit is that it, since it's so basic and dumb on the display, which will, it shows here, Beastie Boys Girls, dot, dot flack, and it's got the time, it shows it's paused. This is track 1048 out of 8983. It's on shuffle. There's two minutes and 13 seconds remain, uh, is the total length of the track. It's a 44 1 16 bit flack. That's all it tells you. If you want to get into some menus, we can hold this down and we can get into uh, a music, a folder of favorites or settings. Music literally is just pick where you want to go for your music, SD or USB. USB is empty, so SD will give you just literally everything on here. Now, if you were one of those crazy people who actually like built a folder structure like A through F, click, and then like everything with the letter a click and then you know you had you could probably navigate with it the problem is no one's going to do that so like you can navigate with the remote but you can't hold down like if i hit right right hold down right to scroll it doesn't scroll down 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 hold down down to scroll it doesn't scroll so if i want to hear mia shells we're in luck lower the volume on that We'll get to the remote. We'll get to the other things. So you load it, load an SD card up. I loaded an SD card up with 8,900 files. They're like, all right, these are good files. Just, just want to hear these. So I have this playing somewhere. And you plug it in. It's got, here's your, here's the power brick. It's got a little, I put the little one foot cable on it because I love these. Zeo, so if you can, link the little one foot figure eight cables because they make everything just so much cleaner. And this is the same thing they always use, nine volt, two amp. So legitimately you could theoretically battery power this if you built a nine volt battery pack and then carry it around like a psychopath but the the main purpose of this is you just plug it in you hit go you hit shuffle assume presumably and you're not you're not navigating inside and that's gonna be one of my complaints in a second and you're good it outputs fpga clocked um, actually, does this have the clock re reclocker on it? This does not have reclocking on it. Um, I know the other own stuff has reclocking, which is we're getting into some territory now where I'm going to have to start reading. Um, but it outputs coax to digital, which is currently going to this, which if I, I have to turn the speakers down manually because there's no way to actually, no, I don't have to turn the speakers down manually. I don't, I shouldn't have to, I should be able to play this because the volume on this, which if I go, is there a mute? Oh, that's just that's the headphones blasting. Okay, because if I turn that down all the way, the volume control you get with the remote, which you can turn on and off in the options, is just for the RCA, which is what's feeding the iLoud micro monitors, which have it on the shelf for a while and I haven't used them and they sound fucking amazing. But the digital outputs, like the one going to this and the one going to this and the one going to this, even though this isn't hooked up to anything, are all still playing full, which means if I go here and then I change my input here Oh god, I'm dying. So that's being fed, that DAC amp is being fed by this through Coax Digital, and it's as good as you could ever get the signal. What the hell is this? I don't hate this, I love it. It's out MP3. Nine inch nails flack. So I have now this playing. I have This playing, this is getting fiber optic. Came back haunted. And then I have that own S8 DAC down here getting the AES signal, which is the big XLR, basically coax of digital. Because I don't have many other things that can accept AES, and it's not even outputting anything. It's just, there you go, PCM48. That's all you got to know. 
It's outputting right now three digital signals perfectly. And analog, which is volume controllable. Now let's look at the remote control for a second because I really, we really gotta, I gotta yell sometimes. I kinda like the shape. I like the deep, the deep V. We've got power, which obviously powers that off. And it, oh, that's why that's off. Because they're both own units. All right, that's a problem, own. Because if you have an own DAC and you have this, they turn on and off at the same time. That's, that's I'm gonna have to cover like a thing with this. You get a Favo button, which I've apparently successfully added a song to favorites by hitting Favo. Then you get a input and then a wave. An input does nothing. It's changing this over here. Wave does nothing. Then you have what looks to be a right arrow, which I gouged out on the remote for the S8. You can see I gouged it out because that's the one that switches with one push from being a pre-out to a line-out. I said I was going to gouge it out, and I gouged it out. But now we have a new remote that doesn't have it gouged out. So if that was hooked up to something and I was using it as a volume control, now it would be line out. Does nothing on this. So nothing, nothing, nothing. Then you have a positive and negative, which you'd think, considering you can control output volumes in this, that's where the volume should be. Own that, the, the volume knob, the up and plus and minus. Does nothing. You're left with the circle with the play pause. Play pause, obviously doing play pause things then arrow up and down are the volume for the rca which is it going up hold on pause so you got up down volume next track last track play pause then you have mode menu stop and return so return will back you through the menus, and I'm so glad it goes back and then recycles. Many things would fuck that up. It would just go back, and then you'd be like, okay, now I gotta navigate back forward. So I'm at the music play screen. Now I'm at the list of tracks. Now I'm at SD or USB, so I've backed up a folder. Now I'm at the main menu folder, where it's music folder, favorite of settings, and now I'm back to where it's playing. So that's nice. Now mode is whether it's going to repeat, repeat loop, shuffle, repeat one track and I wanted to shuffle. And then stop, stops. There's really no difference between stop and pause, but you, you can stop it. And then menu brings you to the menu where the menu is, menu on and off. So now, if we could try to see this without the reflection of that fucking thing, because I know how that works after watching a million of my videos. So there's music. If we go to folder, it's the same thing. You go SD card. Now these are the folders inside the SD card. So new retro wave, boom. One of 86 tracks. The problem is when you do this, if you navigate, you get just this folder. So there's 86 tracks, 85, oh, wait a second. It's doing that thing. Okay, now it's jumping when I hit left and right between folders, because this one's only got nine tracks in it. This one's got 21 tracks in it. Great Gatsby. So now, pause, menu. So if you wanted to stay in a folder, that's kind of nice. I actually like that, like that operation. Like, I want to hear nothing but the Grand Theft Auto Vice City soundtrack. Boom, go there, hit play. It's only going to shuffle those. Next and last track doesn't change. Next and last track changed folders. So if you want to hear all your music again, you go back to music, you go back to SD card, you play the first song, MIA, and then you have 8,983 and you got Billy Joel. Back to menu. So now favorites is every song I've ever hit Favo to, which happens to just be Nine Inch Nails' Comeback Haunted. Although I thought I had more in there. That's kind of weird. I wonder if it erased my favorites somehow. Too weird. Too weird. Back, return, and then settings. So now settings is where you actually have some say in what's going on in this unit. So startup autoplay on, which is nice because you turn it on, hit the power, and it just starts playing. Uh, shuffle mode, uh, filter mode, slow SD, low SD, sharp LSD, sharp LD. I don't know. Slow LD, fine. Uh, backlight brightness, backlight time, if you wanted to stay on all the time, I do. Um, auto standby, if you let this thing play, how many hours before it just like goes to sleep? Because you just put it on, maybe it's in the baby's room. Maybe it's filled with nothing but ICP in the baby's room. And after four hours of insane clown posse, the baby is asleep. Turn off after four hours. Then you have the option to have line out be very, is that changing that? Apparently own remotes control fucking IFI as well. God damn it. 
okay, whatever. Um, line out is either variable or fixed. Since we're using these speakers and I want to use this to control the volume, it's on variable. Then you have factory reset, system update, and language English. Then we get to Bluetooth here, and you have Bluetooth on off, and then Bluetooth scan. You go up and down with this, by the way. So I hit Bluetooth scan, it finds two things. Whatever the fuck a QC35 is, there are no bows in this house. There are no bows in this house. If there's a bows, the ghosts have it. The ghost bows. The Riva Turbo X is there. The Songaz SGD1 is in the, the speaker setup. And so are the Swan M500s. So I, it, it, and apparently the IFI high res which is this, I just found this. So I can pick any of these Bluetooth devices and I can send audio from this, from my card, to those devices. And according to, uh, to Own, it has like the best Bluetooth sending fucking possible. Like, and I don't even know, it doesn't even specify, it, it doesn't say LDAC, it just says, Bluetooth asynchronous FPGA asynchronous technology transport DAC Bluetooth edition only. Um, apparently it's master tape level music file playback uh, via FPGA Bluetooth, Bluetooth. I didn't even know FPGA Bluetooth was a thing, but it will. So I can literally hit this button, it'll try to connect to the swans, which are on the other side of the fucking basement. And it'll stutter, because I've tried it before. But you can, you can do that, and you hold this button to go back. And then we hold this button to go back. And then we hold this button to go back. And we hold this button to go back. And my biggest problem with these fucking buttons is they're really small and they're completely flush. For a unit that, let's say you put this on your desk, like I've got it right here. And you don't want to use the remote. You just want it to play music in your background. Your, your computer is a work computer. You're at your office. John, you're at your office, John. You're listening to me, and you're not allowed to install shit on your computer. So you can't play music off your computer. So you should have your cell phone, but then you don't want a fucking cell phone. You want to have something that plays music good. So you could either buy like a portable DAP and you put it there, or you buy one of these, you fill it with a card, and then you just, you know, play Billy Joel. The next track, but like, I can hit these buttons just fine. George Harrison, I got my mind set on you. But if I cut my nails too short, I can't hit these. I'm like, they're like reset buttons. These need to be bigger buttons or rockers. Something that's like, okay, next, 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 last. Even put them on other sides of the fucking screen. Because they're just so small and they're absolutely flush with the body of the unit. So you, it's like, you, they like to design not to accidentally get you hit, but they're, how? I got my mind. Also, there's no fast forward as far as I can tell on anything. If I hold down next track, it brings me, if you hold on the right arrow, it brings you to the song list and that lets you navigate the songs you're currently around. If you hold on the left button, it brings you to the menu. If you get back to the music playing folder, you get to the music playing folder and you hold on the middle button, it turns off the unit. Where a red standby light comes on, which I appreciate because the red standby lights that's my childhood. That's what I want to see. So let's get into some shit. Yeah, I just turned that off again. I get it. I get it. It's that's on it and that's on it. Gla Gary Clark Jr. Numb from um, KEXP. I'm gonna, I've never said this before in a review. This needs an app. I fucking said it. This needs a phone app. I need to pick up my Android or iOS device, install the Oon app on app. This antenna needs to be Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And I need to be able to log into this unit from the phone to navigate all the 8,900 songs. And to adjust settings and hit next track and play and to organize playlists. Because it's a great unit. As a st for just playing back music, it's nice and simple and de it's not too expensive. 300 bucks. 300 bucks or something that has Bluetooth, AES, coax digital, back USB, front fucking, it's not bad. It's not bad. $300 for what I'm, I'm looking at here is, is pretty good. Make it $400. I'll give you a whole $100 and let me control it with an app. Because once I could do that, I can actually fast forward, pick the tracks I want to hear, navigate the 9,000 songs I have on it. Maybe then I could set my Spotify to play to it, which I, I'm gonna have to do the thing where I do a thing, aren't I? Put the Bluetooth on, let's see if I go here and I hit this, which is this Bluetooth thing, 
if I hit more settings, let me see if it shows up. Aun X5S6 Go. We're connecting. So if I can connect from my phone to that, that adds another layer of, yes, I want to pair. Did it actually work? Bluetooth receiver? Holy shit. So now if I load up, uh, where's my Spotify? No, that's not my Spotify. Where's my Spotify? Because I haven't done this yet. I've played out peaceful sleep. Here we go. How bad could this be? Look at that person. They're sleeping. That was a loud pop. And now it's playing peaceful sleep. So... Will the remote change tracks? Hold, please. Pause. Next track. Oh, the remote will change tracks. Interesting. So, we're discovering new things. It's, I still think it needs an app to discover the actual FLAC files I've installed on it. But I am allowed... I don't know if play pause works. I'm gonna lower the volume. And play pause should be better than last, last track works. Next track works. Does this button do anything now? Now this middle button switches back off of, this is a Bluetooth button. So now I've got Tears of Fears, which is the S which is the SD card. And that is still playing. It's still connected to this. I just switched it as an input. And now it's back to that. Where I'm controlling that. Pause. Pause. It lacks what I think is an app, and that's that. That's here nor there. Again, I'm asking. To, I'm asking to be more expensive to support this feature and the research in it. But for what it does, especially for this, you could just have your laptop. You could bring your laptop into a room and then just Bluetooth connect to this, and then have it AES out of this into a fucking nine hundred dollar DAC, and then have that connect to your fucking ten thousand dollar sound system. There's a purpose for this. It's a hard sell. People are, if you've made it through this far into the video, you're like, see us. And I'm just like, Chuck, it is, uh. it's why I picked this wallpaper. Cause it's a hard sell. It's like, hey, come hang out. And it's like, yes. But then at the same time, no, but there's hearts and everyone's happy. So it's like, I have a purpose for this. Literally burning rig, just upstairs right now. I have a second one of these. And it's upstairs, hooked up to a Macintosh tube amp, just with the tube amp plugged into a headphones, and this is plugged in with the RCA outs, and hit play, and it's just playing music through a tube amp. Because I don't have to have my computer sitting there with FUBAR running, and it's just, it's, it's purpose in life. What is your purpose? You pass the butter. This thing's purpose in life is not to pass the butter. This thing's purpose in life is you just play music. And it, it does it in a desktop environment with remote control. This is, this, this magical piece of equipment here is what makes this better than using like a Fio M11 or a Hibby because they don't have remote controls. This is a standard old infrared remote control. Just next track, last track, play, pause, move on. I really don't know why it doesn't pause. Maybe if I hold it down, it pauses. Double tap. Don't know. I can't get it to pause. I can get it to return and then I can start navigating the menu and then I can be like, Boom, and then boom. There's a purpose for this. If you think you know a purpose for it, please, in the comments below, explain how you would use this. I honestly thought about putting it in my car. No shit. I'm like, nine volt, all right, I can get a 12 volt to nine volt step down converter, plug it in, put it in my car, mount it to the dashboard. Because when I get in my car, I have a tablet there, and the foobar on my tablet is like split screen and there's a map on this side. And it's like, that's kind of cool. But I'm using like the fucking headphone three and a half millimeter out on my tablet. 
And I know that's not the best. And then the tablet always forgets the volume. And then it goes beep every time there's a fucking thing. And I'm just like, if I had this mounted in my car, because I can have anything mounted, but I've had this mounted in my car, then I can be super OCD and mount a fucking DAC in my car. And then I could have my shit set up in my car with like a DAC and an amp. And, and it would just be, I would get in my car and I flip the switch and it take 10 seconds and I hit play. And it just is playing music in my car. Jeff Buckley's playing in my car. And it sounds good. Like, these speakers are coming through the DAC inside of it. It's probably not a $500 DAC sound quality, but it's decent enough to just push out. In fact, <laughs> if I build another boombox, the Z boombox was a thing many years ago, why not mount this motherfucker? Go nuts. Go fucking nuts. Have a little like a box. I could, oh my God. See how nuts do I want to get? Because I could put the Aoun 8 Magic DAC on this with a knob. And then I could have this feed into the Aoun uh, X8 Magic DAC. And then that would be the, the actual DAC. So this would just feed the information to that. And I have all carry case, giant, fu I, fuck it. I, I don't know. Can you think of a purpose for this in your life? I know I'm going to use both of them probably nonstop. I, in fact, I had this one over there shitting out spitif into a splitter for the two Fluence speakers that I've got just to burn them in. I was just like, I'm going, I'm leaving the house for eight hours. No one's in my basement. Yeah, just play music on these speakers. Play music on these speakers while I'm gone and just break them in. Perfect for me, perfect for me. Oh, there's also no way I can find to lower the volume on the unit. So if you're using it as a, a level adjust for that, you basically need the remote. This will be another thing solved by having either more buttons or just slightly different, like more buttons, I guess. Make this top part a touch surface so I could do that and raise and lower the volume. That'd be amazing. I'm still waiting for touch surfaces on things. Hidden touch surfaces. So for right now, if you want to lower the volume, you need the remote to do it. And you could do that. But yeah, no, I, I, I love On as a company. It's either Own or On. I don't know. I think I like Own better. And this is certainly better than those stream boxes that people review or I've reviewed that are like $1,200, $1,300 to like gather your music. Just, just Bluetooth into it, fine. Hold an SD card, fine. $300, fine, done, over. You want a good, it's got a decent enough DAC to run these. You want a better DAC? Boom, it's got three fucking digital outputs, sold. So I don't know, I'm, I'm rambling because I like this unit and I want someone out there to find a reason to buy it. Anyone. Again, I could I could put one in my garage. I put one just in my garage. Walk into my garage, turn on the switch in the lever just switch off in the front, you have remote control off. Like, oh man, I can't wait to work on my car completely naked, because obviously that's how I would do it. Turn on the unit, scans SD. Nine thousand tracks. And it starts playing automatically. So I don't even have to like wait there to hit play. Turn it on and walk away. Let it shuffle. Let it shuffle David Chesky. This is how Naked Zeos fixes his car. Fucking David Chesky's Club de Soul. Anyway, that's the own. Thank you for uh, Linsol for sending it to me. And I'm just like, what am I gonna do with this? And now I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Everything. If my computer's all exploded, just pop my SD card in there. Go to town. Review anything you want. I can review everything with this. Except for something with I2S. Then again, I really don't need that. Anyway, wallpaper available in the description. Feel free to crop that out and put it on your phone. My new Sony phone, which will be arriving in like a week or so, will actually be 21 by 9. So all these wallpapers will be on my new phone. That'll be awesome. Um, yeah, click links to this. I'll link a couple other things. I've got the Noirs here, which, you know, that's you want to test. You, you hook up the Noir is to the Liquid Gold X, which is being fed in from this. It's just it's just a computer replacement. I like it. And you can Bluetooth out, and it'll output this to Bluetooth somewhere else. And for for the price point, it's just, you know, I can't think of a cheaper, easier way to do it. I'm sure you guys can. You'll inform me in the comments. But that's it. Wallpaper there. Patreon and subscribe star if you like these videos and you want to see them early. If you want to hear sound demos again, unrestricted. I'm going to have unrestricted I don't give a fuck copyright sound demos because they're not going up to YouTube. There is now a, they're gonna be on the YouTube channel still. There is a separate YouTube sound demo channel, but I'm super cautious about it. And when I make, if I make sound demos for the uh, the private Telegram channel, I don't give a shit. I'll use do whatever I want. I'll play whatever music I want to play like ACDC. I miss playing ACDC. 
I want to be able to play anything I want on sound demos, and this is going to be a way to do it. So you can access that if you're a $5 patron. You can access videos early if you're a $5 patron or subscribe to so a subscriber. Again, these work for both. You can participate in the yard sales, first to the 10th of every month. I thought for sure when I got this, it was going to be one of those things that I'm just going to throw in the yard sale and I'll get like 100 bucks for it and it'll be fine. Never. Never selling it. These have way too much intrinsic value for me personally as a Zeos. As a Zeos, these have too much value. So yard sales, however, do still happen from the 1st to the 10th of every month. If you're a patron uh, or a subscriber, so a subscriber, you can bid on any item and usually get it for, I'd say, anywhere from 50% off to 20% over retail if you live in a foreign country, because I will ship internationally. And if somebody can't get a thing, you bet your ass they're going to pay full price and then some to have me ship it to them, which is good because shipping is expensive and I pay for half of that shipping. Free shipping if you're continental United States. And don't forget to check out Haifa Guides and the Haifa Guides forum. And that's where we're at. What else? What, did you f figure out the, an app? But the Bluetooth thing, if I could do that, and I could do this. How do I switch to Bluetooth now? Now switch to Bluetooth. Bluetooth? Bluetooth? Switch!